Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Murara Kebaso was arrested yesterday in what seems to look like abduction and um, all that. And we had already discussed that issue on this pipeline. But later today, Murana was presented in the High Court, that is Midimani Law Court, as the Director of Public Prosecution preferred charges against him. And this include cyber harassment, contrary to Section 27 of the Computer Misuse and the Cyber Act. The reason is that uh, Murara Kebaso posted uh, false information about David Lagat, a man from Wasengishi is a business person. You know, he, he said how Ruto used him to get money for campaign, then later dumped. That was the whole issue. But after the drama arrest, Kenyans had camped at the Miliman Law Court protesting and demanding the release of Morara Kebas. This was the situation before the case, as the case was going on in the court, Dole Tamrala Kebaso was released. <laughs> now the NAC Kenya party leader mother Karua was acting as the as Kebasos led council alongside 10 other lawyers who were also presenting Murata Kebaso in this case. So just look at that. The young man just managed to get 10 at a go. Lawyers were ready just to um, act on his behalf. So to Mother Karua, I think she's doing a great job as a pet leader, embracing young leaders and also just getting time to argue their case. That one is positive. You look at Okio Mutata also, he was there. Okio Mutata had camped at DCI and demanding release of Murara Kepasu. So Ata Kananakua Senator is still an activist and he's still playing that role. Now, here is the charges uh, against Murara Kepasu. Republic of Kenya charge sheet. You can read the information there. There, David Morara, allies Morara Kebaso Senior. Charge account one. Cyber harassment contrary to section twenty seven of the Computer Misuse and the Cyber Crime Act, number five of twenty eighteen. Particulars of the 
offense. Now listen to this. Yani si ya maana haileti shangwe hata inashangaza. On September 2024 at a known place within the Republic of Kenya jointly with the others not before court while using the ex cop account dubbed Morara Kebaso senior knowingly without lawfully excuse posted false information to right i quote william ruto approached dl lagat and told him he desperately need more money for campaign dl lagat used his property as a security and took a big loan to help his friend Right now DL Lagat is being accused a uh, auctioned by banks and the person who is buying the property is William Ruto to make it worse William Ruto has used his power to undervalue the properties to buy them at a cheaper price that is the kind of person we are dealing with he he has no friend <laughs> then the dbp is continuing content whose information you knew to be false and calculated to tarnish and discredit the reputation of david lagat so that tells you that the person who took murara kebaso to the court is one david lagat a businessman and the reason is the post he did you know explaining how Ruto used Lagat to get money for campaign then dump Lagat you might look at this statement as if Lagat is the one complaining but in real sense there's someone behind the businessman there's nothing like tarnishing his name how do you tarnish it if someone asks for a loan and he's your friend then you help to get a loan how do you tarnish that name you are not you really helped in fact the person who should be blamed it is the person who did not pay back the loan where by now lagat property is being auctioned if indeed it is true so definitely it is very easy for kenyans to conclude and say that there is the hand of state house in this matter David Lagat did not just wake up and said I will jail or I will I'm going to arrest or or to to prosecute this case against Murala in the court because I've seen some people when Murala Kibaso speak about issues that they feel uh, it is not really true they normally reach out to him and uh, if he's convinced they normally come back and apologize on the same I've seen several times he has been doing so So I'm sure as a business person he, he would have just called Murara Kebasa and told them this is not right the right thing is one two Murara would just come out and apologize But by the fact that someone has pushed this issue to the court it tells you that there is the hand of the state house in this matter But again we have to understand the reason why this impeachment is going uh, sorry the reason why the arrest of Murara Kebasa was done and of course i've told you the reason there is an impeachment motion anticipated to be tabled today i've seen they have called on the road to parliament try and stop if there is there, there can't be any protest because unajua gashagwa ni mtu anajua kupanga protest watu wa kenya kwanza wanajua kupanga pia so he might be organizing for a protest and therefore beside all that they have to call on or may send off ways in joke it should tell you that there might be a possibility of gashagwa's impeachment they want to turn attention of kenyans rather than focusing on impeachment of rigatha gashagwa especially those who support william eh, rigatha gashagwa himself to now be talking about morara kebaso the media knows that morara kebaso is a popular person and so state house is aware so you such a person to keep the people busy discussing about Murara Kibaso but not focusing on Gashagwa's impeachment here inaweza kuwa baadhi ya sababu ambazo 
Zimefanya mwana kebaso anakuwa rested. But after Ruto learning that he made a mistake to arrest Marara Kebaso, he quickly, you know, made it easy for Marara Kebaso to be released. Kwa kumwajilia Afrika kotini, wangakua na msikilia tukile wanasikilianga watu. So he has been released on a 50,000 uh, bail after being arraigned in the Milimani law court. Enda kwa mtu ambaye kwa popular. Shika ye, watu wanza kuangia kusu ye. Na nyimu nasukuma mamba ya gashakwa impeachment. So you divert attention. You focus this side. Before tukuja kuriana mamba ya gashakwa, imesonga, imesonga, imesonga. So hapo ndiyo tumefika. We are talking about serious issues of is it social health insurance fund and we have NHIF. Of course, okay, that is in court or the same. But the state is pushing for that. They that tension of Kenyans. We are talking about Adani and the corruption. Now we have been told the state will be funding this on a change. So you divert the attention, go for a popular person, arrest, and keep the country busy. Jomana wana kujia mutu kama morara kipasu. Kitafuta, there is no serious reason behind this. But when you realize that he is making morara kipasu popular, lazima ajilwe haraka. Nona vijana walukua manda kusanyika, they are threatened, what a storm all the roads, they are going to protest. Gen Z's are serious. When they say, take an action, you make it a joke, you will see them. So he fear. He said that I will make sure that I'm a Pelepa Kotini on time. I will release him. I'm going popular. He will be chilling. But above all, Ruto is building Morara Kebaso's name. In all this suffering, Bora Waguzi Rawayak, they are building him. They are building him, they are standing him, they are hardening him. And soon you will see the fruit of this. I don't know your views, but let us be in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.